All right, time is just about 10 before 10, somewhere in there. All right, it is Tuesday evening. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik. It is a warm evening out there for tonight. We don't have too much to report in the way of cooler weather anytime soon this weekend. Yeah, but it's going to be a while before that actually happens and we'll tell you a little bit more about that in the extended forecast here in just a little bit this is our extended video weather forecast weather overtime we are coming to you semi live live as we record this or if you're watching this later on sometime wednesday morning not quite so live but you get the general idea uh, our opportunity to give you the latest weather information and if you have some questions about the forecast in and around the area we'll be glad to help you understand a little bit more about what's going on out there we cover north georgia we get into east southeastern tennessee northeastern parts of alabama and a very small portion of western north carolina so that's our viewing area coverage out there going to be seeing again some quiet conditions for tonight but we are looking for the potential of some more potential severe weather out there as we go into the next day or two and that is going to be relatively limited not as much as we are seeing back to our northwest tonight but uh, we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit got any questions or comments drop them into the comments section and we'll see what we've got going on for you taking a quick look at our weather picture for the week the first one here for tuesday ronald gossett thank you very much for a view from lookout mountain some clouds out there as dusk begins to gather so again nice view there thank you very much that's our west shore home weather window picture of the day and if you've got pictures drop them to any of of our social media pages we'd love to have you develop them there uh, again give us a short description of what you were looking at where things like that if you don't want to leave your name you don't have to you can just be anonymous but go ahead and send them in to us or email them to us directly at pictures at wdef.com and we'll be using them on our facebook page and other social media as well few clouds around the area from island cove marina and resort not doing too bad out there for tonight. Clouds going to be filling back in as we go into overnight tonight. And very much on the mild side, right before 10 o'clock Eastern, we've got numbers back in the mid to high 70s. So very comfortable. A lot more humidity out there than what we've seen for a while. And, of course, we'll be seeing some fairly breezy winds into tomorrow out of the south. That means we'll be getting some much more mild conditions in here before things start to kind of reverse themselves all the way around as we go into the next couple of days so 60s and 70s across much of the area again right before uh, 10 o'clock tuesday eastern standard time and clouds again here and there we're just not picking up really uh, all that much of it at this point in time now things are decently quiet where we are back to the north and west of us not quite so much we've got numerous tornado watches in effect over portions of the midwest the mississippi valley and then back over into parts of kansas and missouri some severe thunderstorm watches taking place so we've got a lot of activity going on in this general area it's going to be again down into and around portions of farther south that we may see the potential of maybe some stronger weather popping up and we'll have to wait and see how that goes over the next few hours either way if you're traveling tonight and going to be going west of memphis watch out because we're looking at some pretty nasty conditions out there the general setup for everything is again going to be this next storm system that's going to be rolling on through we've got tons of moisture rolling up from the pacific and the gulf of mexico that's the fuel for these thunderstorms there and again seeing the next storm system making its way on through that's going to be giving some possible problems into overnight for a good portion of the great plains and back into and around possible areas upwards of the uh, areas of southern Missouri back into western Arkansas and down into around the Oklahoma area. That's the worst of what we're going to be seeing for right now for later on tonight. Now, if that happens in the next few hours, we should be seeing some uh, changes taking place. That's a moderate risk going into those locations. So that is going to be where we see the best potential for problems coming up later on. But as of right now, we don't have anything even close going on to where we are when it comes to severe weather the look for tonight again includes that moderate threat from southern missouri from roughly i-44 all the way back down to about texarkana fort smith west of little rock springfield missouri kind of in that general area so well away from us we're not seeing anything in the way of problems for tonight 
we may see again the possibility of this shifting a little farther to the to the east but in the next about 24 hours most of that threat goes north of us and tempers off a little bit into just an enhanced risk across parts of areas from Memphis up to around Chicago Detroit in that area and then for the rest of that it doesn't really look quite as strong but there is a decent severe weather chance here we will be getting into the potential of a marginal threat not that high later on tomorrow night that's Wednesday night into Thursday morning so Chip Chapman might have some storms to deal with uh, coming up very early Thursday morning but that should be about all of what we're seeing for right now either way it is a chance of severe weather so definitely want to stay tuned and find out more about this time to be weather aware uh, Nashville back over toward Jonesboro Arkansas and all the way up to the Great Lakes that's where we're seeing the worst of the worst taking place here in the next couple of days so uh, that needs to be watched very carefully just to make certain that that doesn't get uh, overly active relatively soon and then by Thursday and Friday a chance of thunderstorms yes but we're just not seeing too much of anything out there in the way of major problems coming on through and that's after the last couple of weeks I'm just fine with that there's no problem with that whatsoever out there so looking decently quiet for the most part uh, Jeff Peterson from Dunlap thank you very much 71 degrees having a decent night getting back in the saddle after a long weekend away a much needed weekend thank you very much for checking in there all right for the next few days again that chance of a marginal risk of severe weather that could be a problem Wednesday night into Thursday and then we see chances of showers and thunderstorms for Wednesday afternoon and evening that's going to be again late toward about sunset when we get anything and then we get another chance of showers and thunderstorms some of those could continue into Good Friday so could be some rain and thunderstorms for the Good Friday Tenebrae services going on for Holy Saturday chances of showers mainly in the early portion of the day and then we get into Easter Sunday and if there's any outdoor sunrise services not quite so popular down here they were all over the place growing up back in Kansas so if there's any outdoor services it will be brisk about the time the sun rises early Sunday morning temperatures will be in the mid to upper 40s so definitely a jacket maybe a light coat for any of those outdoor sunrise services coming up the rest of Easter Sunday looks wonderful temperatures back in the mid 60s that's pretty close to normal for this time of the year and then going a little farther one week away from today uh, the Chattanooga lookouts are back home again they'll be taking on the Braves and they'll be doing that in downtown Chattanooga and that looks to be hopefully if everything works a decent day coming up so just about a week or so and counting until the lookouts return to the friendly confines of AT&T field so really looking forward again to seeing that happen out there uh, sports again heading out for a round of golf tomorrow early is going to be better than later because as of right now again the closer you go toward afternoon and especially late afternoon that's where we see the potential of those thunderstorms out across the area and the last thing you want to do is be on a broad flat surface holding a metal rod when there's thunder anywhere nearby so again early yeah later a little windy a little warm and temperatures tomorrow believe it or not this is not going to be record high territory the record high for Wednesday is if I'm not mistaken 89 set back in 2010 so it'll be very warm record-breaking kind of on the iffy side about that so we'll wait and see how that plays out overall again for tonight we're just not seeing much of anything going on uh, in the next couple of days yes more chances of showers and thunderstorms and there's that dip in the temperatures gonna be a lot cooler going into Friday with numbers back into around the lower 60s so it definitely is going to be a big change up and down and then warming up again toward next week you can check out the seven day forecast available at our website at wdef.com if you'd like to find out uh, a little bit more about what's going on there tune in to the latest edition of the what I want to know show we recorded it last week we have a brand new member of our weather staff here Nash former National Weather Service 
meteorologist Todd Heislip. He just joined us. He just filled in with for his first weekend, and he'll be with us for a long time, I hope. A uh, good opportunity to talk with Todd, his experiences working at the National Weather Service in Birmingham and in Morristown for over a quarter of a century. So a lot of good experience, and he, he's even taught me a few things about uh, some radar readings that I did not know about. So very nice to have Mr. Todd aboard. If you'd like to see that, you can find out more through my, our website at wdef.com slash weather if you'd like to know more about that. Or you can find out more, again, through my social media pages. Uh, if you'd like to find out more about Mr. Todd, his previous experience, and how he's joining us here uh, at News 12 to find out more about his background and uh, what he's been doing up until this point in time. So glad to have Mr. Heislip aboard. Thank you very much for joining us and looking forward to working more with you over the rest of the next uh, several days, weeks, months, and hopefully years. Uh, it's going to be a quiet night tonight. Really little, if anything, to report again for this evening, but we still see that potential of maybe some stronger weather for Wednesday night into Thursday, so definitely want to pay attention to that. Uh, questions, concerns, anything you want to throw my way, that's aonic at wdef.com. That's A-O-N-E-K at wdef.com. And we'd love to know what's on your mind. Uh, also, again, please send in those pictures. We'd love to have your pictures for the uh, West Shore Home Weather Window Picture of the Day, if we could go ahead and post those on there at some point in time. Going to go ahead and wrap it up for tonight because, again, it's decently quiet. No problem with that after the last couple of weeks. So uh, nice to see some quiet, if not semi-warm conditions out there. A sure sign that summer is on its way. Uh, over the next several days and weeks out there. So I'll have more on your forecast coming up on News 12 at 11. Chip Chapman has your forecast bright and early in the morning. And, of course, don't forget to check out everything at WDEF.com slash weather, and we'll keep you advised there. Live and direct from downtown Chattanooga, Tennessee, I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for much more with News 12 on air and online. And, of course, thanks for joining us for the latest edition of Weather Overtime for Tuesday evening. Thanks for joining us.